Gisa Butler, uh, your first album with this band was released a couple of years ago, Plastic Planet, and um, the band's name back then was GCR. But on your new album, Black Science, the band name is Geezer. Why is that? Um, we were having a lot. People just didn't know how to um, pronounce the, the title of the band. I mean, a lot of, most of the metal radar over here were calling it Geezer. And which consequently a lot of the kids were going into record shops and asking for the new Geezer album and the record shops did, didn't know what they were talking about so it, that all got back to my record company and they said it's causing too much confusion most people are calling the band Geezer rather than GZR or GZR so it's just it's a bit much simpler just to call it Geezer so I bowed down to them and let them change the name all right so it had nothing to do with a change in the lineup. I mean, with uh, Burton C. Bell out of the band. Um, no, but it's very convenient. Uh, that you know, it does reflect the change in the band. As far, you know, it goes what one hand in the other kind of thing. Do you look up on this as a band effort, or is it a solo project from Gisa Butler? I mean, intentionally. No, it's definitely a band. Your new vocalist is Clark Brown. Um, did you ask Burton C. Bell from Fear Factory to stick around for another record, or what was the reason for uh, the switch of vocalists? Well, Burton Bell was always, it was only like a one off project anyway, because like Burt's with Fear Factory. And uh, the reason why Burt came in at the, at the last minute to do the Plastic Planet album is I just couldn't find a singer. And Bert came in it, just to help me out, and we had no time to, for preparation for that album. We, we literally went straight into the studio. I'd never heard Bert singing on any of the stuff. Oh, really? And we just made it up as we went along, and we only had two weeks in which to do the whole thing anyway. Um, and then when it came to like the record company asking me to promote the album to do a tour, I couldn't tour because. Uh, it was with Fair Factory, and so uh, I realised anything in the future I'd have to have a permanent uh, singer, uh, which is where Clark came in. We did lots of auditions, and um, Clark was recommended to me by a friend of ours, and he came in, and uh, I just liked his um, approach and imagination, and I liked him as a person. And we went from there. Getting a new vocalist is always a, a, a big change. Um, what are other big differences between uh, your first album, Plastic Planet, and uh, your new album, Black Science? Well, I had a lot more time to work on the uh, Black Science album. Um, I didn't want to do Plastic Planet Part 2, so I wanted a much more varied album. And by the time... Clark came into the band, we'd already written over 40 songs and so we had a, a much big wider choice of material and we sort of narrowed it down to about 25 songs and recorded about 22 of those in the studio and then picked out uh, the ones for the album and I just, I just wanted a, a much more varied album than the Plastic Planet album. I was really surprised when I heard the, the Plastic Planet album. I mean, a lot of uh, the old rockers like you um, tend to go a bit softer when they get older, but uh, you seem to go the opposite way. <laughs> Have you been influenced by uh, current, uh, more brutal bands? Um, I suppose it must be, yeah, in a way. <laughs> I mean, as far as... It's mainly Pedro, the way his style... I mean, I... I'll write the same way as I usually write, you know, even when I was writing with Sabbath, I'm still writing in the same way as I did then. I'm writing the same way now as I did then, it's just that I'm working with different people now, and Pedro's got a much uh, a far different approach than Tony Iommi, for instance, is on guitar. Pedro's a much more heavier guitarist, so obviously his interpretation is going to be different, and... Um, he brings a lot of his influence to the, the, the actual sound of the band. Some of the songs on the new album have uh, intros that sounds very industrial. Uh, who brought uh, that kind of uh, influence uh, into the music? Um, well, we, we, as I say, we had a lot more time on this album, and 
I was just experimenting with different uh, keyboards and different drum machines and all these different effects that I'd bought last year. Because I've, I've got a studio at, at home, and um, over the last two years I've been updating everything. I bought, you know, I brought new keyboards and new effects and all that kind of thing. And I was just like messing about with different stuff. <laughs> And I was doing things like putting drum machines through guitar processors, you know, just to see what it'd sound like. And um, vocals through whammy pedals and all that kind of stuff. Just to experiment and um, we were coming out with some really strange stuff, so I thought we may as well use some of it on the album. So the album is called Black Science. Um, what is Black Science, really? Well, I'm a science fiction freak. And I'll, and I'll read a lot of comic books and science fiction books and stuff like that. And black science is a term that is used for secret government experiments. And because a lot of the lyrics on on the new on this new album is about um, like science fiction and men in black and that kind of stuff, I just thought it was an appropriate title for the album, just to reflect the science fiction and nature of some of the lyrics. You're currently touring the states. How's the tour been going so far? Um, it's hard work. It's um, it's just very small clubs, um, and the response is varied. Some nights we go down great, other nights it's like playing to the dead. <laughs> <laughs> Particularly when there's a lot of old Sabbath fans come along. I think they think they're going to be playing like my version of Black Sabbath songs, and when they hear the stuff that I do, it's like they all run out. Do you play any Sabbath songs at all? No, sometimes I do. If we, if, if, we um, if we have to do a longer set, then I'll sometimes put maybe one Sabbath song in. I hear you're about to do uh, a comeback with uh, the classic Black Sabbath uh, lineup. Uh, will there be room for both bands uh, after that? I mean, the Sabbath thing, it's always like so up in the air, it's like one minute it's happening, the next minute it's not happening. So we're going to do these uh, two shows at the NEC in December in Birmingham. And then that's all we've got planned, really. So um, I'll either carry on touring with my band or go back and make another album. Have you planned any European tour with uh, Geezer in the future? Will we be seeing you over here? I'd love to. There's nothing planned yet. I think we're coming over to England in the end of October. So we'll just have to wait and see then, I, I guess. Yeah, it's just one of those. It's so it's just early days. Yeah, I think like the record company wants to see if the album's going to do anything in Europe before uh, we can tour there. My favorite track of uh, Black Science at the moment is uh, the opener, "Man in the Suitcase." Uh, do you have a favorite? Um, probably the Mistrons. 